Live from the star-filled International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Welcome to the 70th Annual Golden Globe Awards. shows that have entertained us all year, as well as the films that have only been in theaters for two days. That's what makes tonight so special. Only at the Golden Globes do the beautiful people of film rub shoulders with the rat-faced people of television. <laughs> Speaking of, Tina and I are also both nominees tonight, and thank you. And Tina, I, um, I just want to say that I, I very much hope that I win. Thank you. You're my nemesis. Thank you. <laughs> Ricky Gervais could not be here tonight because um, he is no longer technically in show business. <laughs> we want to assure you that we have no intention of being edgy or offensive tonight because, as Ricky learned the hard way, when you run afoul of the Hollywood foreign press, they make you host this show two more times. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was a great year for women. It was a great year for women in television. Lena Dunham is a double nominee tonight. Lena, we love your show. We are such fans. But if they are forcing you to do all that nudity, you have to tell us, okay? You just give us some kind of signal and we will call child services. Wink or something. It was a great year for film. Uh, women in film, Catherine Bigelow nominated tonight. been following the controversy over Zero Dark Thirty, but when it comes to torture, I trust the lady who spent three years married to James Cameron. <laughs> of course, um... <laughs> of course, we want to thank our hosts tonight, the HFPA, for having us. Amy, tell the people a little bit about the HFPA. Yes, you know, well, when left untreated, HFPA can lead to cervical cancer. However, there is a vaccination. Oh, no, that's Amy, that's HPV. Oh, I'm sorry, of course. The HFPA is the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. And when left untreated, no, they can go, oh. she's, she's kidding. There is uh, no known cure for the Hollywood Foreign Press. Look at all these gorgeous movie stars here tonight. Ben Affleck is here tonight. Yes. Okay, for Argo. Ben's first two movies took place in Boston, but he moved this one to Iran because he wanted to film somewhere that was friendlier to outsiders. Hi, Ben. Hi, how are you? You doing good, huh? I'm from Boston, too, so you're looking great. Good for you. You're not better than me. The, uh, the beautiful Anne Hathaway is here tonight. <laughs> Anne Hathaway, you gave a stunning performance in Les Miserables. I have not seen someone so totally alone and abandoned like that since you were on stage with James Franco at the Oscars. <laughs> shot her big Les Mis song all in one tight close-up, and she said that it was really difficult performing with a camera so close to her face. Well, then she's never going to make it in porn. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think she uh, has any plans to do porn, Amy. Well, none of us have plans to do porn. <laughs> The Hunger Games was one of the biggest films of the year, and also what I call the six weeks it took me to get into this dress. Ang Lee's 
has been nominated for Best Director for The Life of Pi, which is what I'm going to call the six weeks after I take this dress off. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence is here, the star of Silver Linings Playbook. Mm -hmm. Quentin Tarantino is here, the star of All My Sexual Nightmares. <laughs> Meryl Streep is not here tonight. She has the flu, and I hear she's amazing in it. So amazing. She steals it. Yeah. She steals the flu. She is. Mandy Patinkin from TV's Homeland is here. I like Homeland, but I don't think it's as good as that other show previously on Homeland. That thing is action-packed. Now, you know, Mandy Patinkin is a star of Homeland, but he's also a treasure of the American musical theater. And if I were in charge of this show, which I have been told repeatedly I'm not, after every clip of Les Miserables, I would cut to Mandy Patinkin because he knows if it's good singing or bad, and he won't be able to hide it in his face. Watch. We will prove it. I dreamed a dream of da da da, and then I went to get a sandwich. Mandy Patinkin, did you like it? Incredible. <laughs> Don't lie to me, Mandy. Don't lie to me. Julianne Moore is here tonight, nominated for playing Sarah Palin in Game Chain. Me too. I used to win prizes for that too. <laughs> and you know, I think if Governor Palin were here tonight, she'd say, You betcha! <clears throat> nope, I lost it. You betcha! No, I can't do it anymore. I honestly can't do it anymore. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe for the best. But enough silliness. Daniel Day-Lewis is here. Yes. His performance in Lincoln is so amazing. He is so method. He really disappears into his character. Did you know that Lincoln was not the first role Daniel Day-Lewis played in a Steven Spielberg film? Really? What else did he play? E.T. <laughs> no, he was E.T.? Yes. Young Daniel Day-Lewis was E.T. <laughs> Do the, do the finger. Do, do the, the finger. E finger. Do the finger. There it is. Amazing. 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 That's why he's the best. Werewolf for Mitzvah. Spooky, scary. Boys becoming men. Men becoming wolf. Werewolf for Mitzvah. Spooky, scary. Boys becoming men. Men becoming wolf. It was all right. That was, that was great, Trey. Okay. It's over. That's a wrap. Oh. The next day, what happened? The tumor didn't teach. Oh, I got up in front of everyone to get my little.